Hi folks, Ray Gianelli here. And today I want to talk about all the little things you need to make your bench work. Um, there's a lot of adapters, uh, cables you can buy or make up for yourself that'll make the job of servicing audio equipment, which is my main focus, a lot easier and safer. And when I mean safer, I mean less likely to cause damage to the equipment or to you. Because remember, whenever you service anything, whenever you have the covers off, you're exposing yourself to potentially harmful or fatal voltages. So you've been warned, be careful. Okay, I'm gonna stop the camera here. We're gonna zoom in on the bench. I'm gonna show you some of the cables that I use that just make this job so much quicker, safer, and easier. Okay, starting with your multimeter. This one is a fluke and it came with a set of fluke leads. These are nice leads. They're good up to 1,000 volts DC and I believe 750 AC, just like the meter. Um, they're not as pointy as I would like, but they do the job. However, probes are just the beginning. Uh, one of the things I got that really helps when I'm using probes like this, and I don't want to short anything out, are these little adapters that just push right on. Now, if you can see this, it's just got a little bit of the tip exposed and it's very sharp so it'll dig into the uh, solder on the printed circuit board if you're going on the soldered mass side. Okay, so I bought a set of those. They were fairly cheap. I bought them online, easy enough to find. Um, I'll try to put in a link or at least tell you what these are called, okay? Now, when you're doing biasing, you often have to go inside the amplifier and clip on and people tell you to buy and they're highly recommended mini grabbers these guys go inside it's usually a good idea to put them on while the amplifier is off even though there's very little exposed here all it takes is one momentary short to ruin your day as i often say please don't ask me how i know that also handy to have are these these are banana the alligator clip. Okay, a lot of times I'll just use the black one to ground to the chassis and plug it into my scope. And that way I can pull a little lead off of my oscilloscope probe, which tends to pull off and short things out. And uh, this is, in audio frequencies, perfectly safe and easy to do. Won't mess anything up. Then there's all the adapters you're gonna need. Now your test equipment you'll find generators, oscilloscopes, most of this stuff is going to have B and C. That's what these guys are called here. All right, and um, sometimes we're not going to want to use that. My signal generators, B and C, both of them right here. And tell you what, we'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. This Cronheit function generator, BNC. This HP, BNC. But most of the stereo equipment we're working on has RCA connectors. So what we want to use is an adapter. Now again, these are easily available online. I bought a whole bunch of them. They are BNC to RCA. Y adapter. RCA male to RCA female. And I have a box, I'll show you here, that I keep all my adapters in. All right, so in here, we have dual banana to BNC. Excuse me. I have a BNC to BNC barrel connector. These guys, which we already talked about. These, if you work on any guitar amps, and I tend to because I have a lot of buddies that um, I used to play guitar with, this is quarter inch foam plug to RCA. Um, then we have headphone adapters to go from uh, 3.5 millimeter to standard quarter inch stereo foam plug. What else do we have in here? I have a lot of scope probes. I have adapters here for my uh, 
multimeter, different types. I like these because they're really, really pointy. Like I said, they help you to dig into the solder side of a board so you don't slip and short things out. Um, I think that's it for that. Now let me show you some of the cables that I've made to make my job easier. Okay, a lot of times we'll just need to use bare wire and I have everything terminated to dual banana because if we look here on my bench real quick you'll see that my dummy loads are dual banana and this is where I feed my amplifier under test in and I can hook this right to the back of the amplifier. Now some amplifiers handily have Bananas, dual bananas. So we have dual banana to dual banana. I just wired up some of these. So I have these and this. And of course, sometimes the banana plugs on the back of the amplifier are spaced differently. I believe there's some parts of the world where their uh, electrical outlets are, are this spacing. And they don't want you to plug your speakers in, so they space the bananas differently. So for those, I made dual banana to single banana so I can plug these in. All right. I also have, and I use these a lot of Macintosh amplifiers, I have dual banana to spade connectors. And as I said, I work on guitar amps, so I have quarter inch foam, which a lot of times I use on the speaker outputs on Marshalls, Fenders, Boogies, amps like that. The banana for going into my dummy loads for troubleshooting purposes. I also made a nice set of BNC to new trick foam plugs. These things are stupidly expensive but I got them when I was on a quest to lower the distortion I was measuring with my distortion analyzer. It was it is rated at 0.0001% and when you start getting that low Anything from the, the wind blowing to the phase of the moon will screw up your measurement. Anyhow, that's all I have for right now. Just wanted to show you some of the things I use that just make life easier, safer, and make things more efficient. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day. And as always, I enjoy giving back to the community that has given me so much. Thanks a lot and take care.